So uh, Algerians are still protesting despite the departure of President Abdelaziz Bouteflika because they want an overhaul of the regime. Uh, the fact that Abdelaziz Bouteflika left is only for them the beginning of uh, their their demands being uh, met. They want the departure of the three Bs, what they call the three Bs, meaning Belaid, Bin Saleh, and um, uh, Belaid, Bin Saleh, and Bin and uh, for now there is one B that, uh, that uh, who left uh, which is uh, Belaiz but there is still Bin Salah who is president of the transition and uh, Bedoui who is uh, the prime minister so for them it is in unacceptable to consider or even to think about a transition in which these former symbols of the regime this old guard is still there uh, so uh, the plan is that they are going to continue protesting on a daily basis when it comes to corporates uh, or corporations sorry such as the students the lawyer the judges and so on and so forth and of course the big demonstration of Friday for everyone will continue to take place every Friday in Algiers the capital but also all over uh, the country and I do believe that this movement has the ability to continue However, we need to keep in mind that every movement has this tendency, you know, uh, to fade away. So, as I wrote it in my latest piece, uh, what Algerians need to do so their movement won't fade away. Uh, so I think the first condition is that the movement, al Hirak, uh, as they called it, needs to continue and uh, in its peaceful nature. They need to continue this peaceful, highly civic and orderly um, uh, protest because any kind of violence might, you know, alienate people and give a bad image to the uh, movement so they need to continue wi with what is called actually in political science the political jiu-jitsu um, and of course the movement also needs to have a minimum of institutionalization while uh, I do understand that Algerians do not want a leader uh, to their movement which is also a strategic move at a given moment I think there is a minimum need of institutionalization and this could take the form of, you know, local uh, local focal point that would be able to organize, you know, um, public event, public debate, but also demonstration, civil disobedience and things like that. I think the simple idea of holding election on July 4th, 2019 is a really actually dangerous idea for a simple thing who Algerians are going to vote for. Uh, if there is election that early, that means that the candidates are going to come from the old guard. That means that these candidates are going to be pure product of the Algerian regime and the Algerian system. And this will give a chance to the regime regime and the system to regenerate itself. So I think the best solution right now is not to have elections. Elections unfortunately are too early for the country. I think the best way to do it is uh, as the Tunisian did it and it took them more than three years to, uh, to, to, to agree on all levels is to have uh, a constituent assembly and then organize later on elections. I think right now there is unfortunately uh, signs of um if I may say the bad recipe for this transition because the political uh, elite, uh, the political structures are weak, the political trend, uh, opposition is uh, divided, uh, there is no real and genuine willingness or will uh, from the military to step down by the opposite, the military are actually going to, uh, to be uh, the main actors in this uh, transition and I believe that 
that they will remain the locus of power in uh, in Algeria. Um, however, what we are scared now is violence. I think violence cannot be ruled out and there is always a risk of uh, violence. However, I think that using violence against protesters, uh, you know, who have been that peaceful uh, for weeks, I think now it's been nine weeks and who have been, you know, taken up to the street with their kids on their shoulder would be a terrible uh, mistake uh, and this would uh, show the brutality of the security forces and the regime.